Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fight Business. Let's continue a story game here, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue the mini game here, let's go ahead and see what's uh through the door here. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condit. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Nah. Nada. Wow, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Uh, it's all right. Hey, Nate. Look. Another star pattern. On the coat? Great observation by Mr. Sully there. The longtime partner of Mr. Nathan Drake. The long tr the longtime treasure hunting partner of Mr. Nathan Drake. Just just making out good points right there. I wonder if we can play the mini game again. I'm sure we'll have to. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. Guys, we're in the uh, chamber of Mr. Thomas too, and uh, Mr. Hen Mr. Avery here. They've got a few pictures here, and Mr. Uh, Sullivan Drake and Mr. Nathan Drake uh, are basically doing some treasure hunting here, just looking around, uh, getting some information there. And Mr. Sullivan uh, is just kind of joking around with Nathan Drake, taking a keeping an eye, on, keeping an eye. On, excuse me, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, keeping an eye on him, and. Uh, throwing a few comments of himself uh, for a f uh, throwing a few comments as well there, Mr. Nathan Drake obviously all in for his treasure hunt. He's ready to go. He is ready to take another picture of this um, symbol here and investigate that and analyze it. What do you think? Those Avery and two sigils, the stars on those lined up. Remember, that these line up too. Hmm. 
So as you guys can clearly see, he just took out his notebook and started uh, ripping out the papers to... Now he wants to basically rotate these small little pieces of papers to kind of organize them properly. He's got his whole notebook with him, he's got his pencil with him so he can kind of craft around there as well. Alright guys, let's see if we can play this mini game here.
All right, guys. Let's see if this is the pattern. We have got the the two skulls with the uh, the two skulls on the with the arrow pointing on the right, and we have a horse unicorn looking thing with uh, facing towards the left, and we have a scorpion uh, or a snake looking thing going straight towards the earth. Let's see if that works. lot of pirates out there you know so we're stuck no we're not stuck but give me your phone what you're gonna phone a friend close text a brother text a brother definitely definitely ladies and gentlemen let's take a picture and send it to the uh, brother there see if you can get some help so this is using some 2020 there. technology right there 2016 I should say I'm sure he'll get back to us very soon you know these are actually some nice paintings if we don't find the treasure maybe we could sell them to a museum let's find those star patterns Okay, just saying. Mr. Sully does not seems uh does not seem fatigued at all, fatigued at all. Let's see if we can pick this painting up. Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Mr. Sully Sorry, is. Who the hell cares? Well, I care. Doing great. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. I guess apparently Mr. Nate Drake did uh, mention a star pattern, so let's see if we can find it here. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, we found it. There. Make some notes right there. Quick notes. Nothing too big. Okay, he's got his phone. It looks like his brother got back to him. Let's see. You still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. J stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. So it looks like uh, Mr. Nathan, Nathan Drake told Mr. Sam Drake he's got a mechanism to solve here and that um, uh, very impressive Mr. Samuel Drake knew all the names. Hey, Richard Want, he was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew, looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. What is that statue holding in May's portrait? Well, his ship was named the Pearl, so maybe a pearl? Ah, very literal.
Here we go. Alright guys, it looks like Mr. Nathan Drake made a couple more notes here, so let's see what it is. Let's see if we can connect the dot dots, ladies and gentlemen. All right, see, let's see if we can get this uh, puzzle working. So it looks like this is on the right. This is in the middle.
All right, guys. Let's see if we can match the dots here. So these two, uh, I'm just having trouble matching the uh, the three symbols here, ladies and gentlemen. But it's okay. Mr. Nathan Drake wants to do it right. Alright, so we have the black one, black uh, dolphin looking thing going up and the white one going down, both getting the snakes. We've got the uh, axe looking thing pointing left and we've got the bow tie and the circle on the bottom. Let's see if we can go ahead and solve, solve this puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy and subscribe if you haven't. Honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. Don't I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. 
Uh, guys, there's no need to lie in real life. Guys, if you want your life to be pur purposeful, def definitely do not lie. Take the good and leave the bad from the media. Torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. We have a gentleman here with a turban. An Asian looking gentleman here with a sword, maybe a samurai. And a black gentleman here as well. He could be the richest, uh, he could be from Mansa, that guy Mansa from one of those countries in Africa who was the richest guy today even today from today's standards he's the richest guy Mansa guy black gentleman right here ladies and gentlemen this looks like a white gentleman with a um, a ponytail ladies and gentlemen like comment subscribe ladies and gentlemen let's see if we can find the uh, patterns in these uh, paintings I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. It's kind of burned, so it'll be hard to find the pattern here. It's right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's one. Looks like his brother's getting back to him. The phone's vibrating. Oh, Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. So we, we've got Qariq bin Malik Yazid al Basra. And we have Edward England. Edward England. Stout little fellow. Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, aren't the muggles the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Guys, definitely, definitely do not steal honor among thieves, like Mr. Sully said. Like, like that's ever the case. Yeah, you guys definitely do not steal if you want your life to be pur purposeful. Let's see if huh. we can find. No name. This guy's get up looks Moorish. The pattern. Found the stars, but who are you?
That's three. Looks like we have a longer puzzle here. We've got one, two, three, four symbols. All right, I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. All right, so we have uh, Mr. Al Basra here. All right, guys, let's see if we can inspect some items here. Let's see if we can figure out the pattern. So we have Malik right there, snake looking Malik, but which one is it? Is this Malik or is this Malik? You never know with Malik. And then we have another symbol, weird looking symbol with a tail and uh, an animal looking face. Which one is he? Is is it this one or is it this one? You really just can't tell with that animal looking guy, animal looking face thingy.
Alright guys, so it seems like we do have some kind of a pattern here. We have the uh, scale upside down. We have the question mark. Okay, so we have Malik. Like, the, I don't know if... Yeah, so we have a... So this is what we have here, okay, ladies and gentlemen. And we have the uh, cheetah going towards the earth. Let's see if this if this works. What do we got? Uh, not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Yeah, guys, now he's got his brother back in his life, so now he can send everything to his uh, brother Sam. Before in Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, he didn't have his brother. Yeah, one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, come on. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes, yeah. and I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? 
Pro Deus Quod Licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am, calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quod licentia, to God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. Right, we gotta find someplace to hide. <laughs> Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like uh, it doesn't seem like this is what is what's happening in the story. Rafe has hacked their phones, so he knows where he is. He knows what they're talking because the phones have mics on them. So Rafe heard everything, and Rafe even knows where they are. So, and I'm I'm kind of surprised that Mr. Nathan Drake. Well, actually, Mr. Nathan Drake did not know that Rafe had that capability. But Rafe, I guess, with the money, he went ahead and hacked the phones. Uh, and with the help of Nadine, I guess, uh, doing the military side of things. But um, so Mr. Sam Drake, he did pick up, but he is in the middle of a firefight. So that's what Mr. Nathan Drake heard last of him. But his uh, phones been their phones have been hacked and they've been tracked down and everything that they discovered have been listened to by Rave is what we have seen so far, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this is about it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nate Drake did not enter from the front door but it looks like he will be leaving from the front door ladies and gentlemen till then uh, like comment subscribe peace out